It was once where midnight was bleak, while I was wandering, weak and tired. More than a lot of interesting and odd volume forgotten lore. As I nodded, she was almost asleep, suddenly she was touching her. As someone gently knocked, he knocked on the door of my room. There are some visitors, I muttered, touching my door door. It's just this and nothing more. Ah, I definitely remember it was the bleak December. And every dying man worked the spirit on the floor. She wanted wandering tomorrow, I've been asking for a loan agreement. My books have been relieved by sorrow, the sadness of the lost Lenore. The rare and radiant maiden kit of the angels names Lenore. Nameless here forever. And the silky, sad, uncertain cries of all purple curtains. It was filled with my heart, I had never felt terrible terror. It's okay now that he was still on the podium, I was repeating. I believe some visitors are begging for entrance to my room door. Some late visitors begged an entrance on my doorstep. That's right and nothing more. At present, my soul is getting stronger, then hesitantly. Lord, he said, sir, I truly apologize. But the fact that I slept and then gently knocking came. And so faintly touching the cam, touching the door of my chamber. That it was hardly in it, I heard, that's where the door was wide open. There is darkness and nothing more. Deeply K looked into darkness as I stood curious. Suspicious, dream dreams are not mortal either for dreaming before. But the silence was unbroken, and after the silence the token. And the only word he was talking about was whispered, Lenore? I whispered and an echo mumbled the word, Lenore. Only this and nothing more. Back to the chambers, my soul burns in me. Soon I heard again touching something louder than before. Surely, I said, this is definitely something in the window grid? Let's see what's behind it and that secret is exploration. Let my heart still be a little bit, and this is the secret. Believe the wind and nothing more. The shutter was opened here when there was a lot of flirting and floating. There he entered an imposing raven centenary ancient times. Last but not least, the main driving force did it. Not stopped for one minute or left. But to me the gentleman or lady, sat up in my room door. The bust was sitting above pallas over the door of the chamber. He sat and sat down and nothing more. Then this ebony bird tempting my sad fancy the smiling. His heavy and rigorous expression was his face. Although your coat of arms hair is cut off and shaved, you he said, art of being a coward. Terrible gloomy and ancient raven wandered over the night shore. Tell me what you're a filthy name for the night Pluto beach. The raven said, never more. I was very amazed at this sinister discreet discourse so clearly. Although the answer has a lot of sense of relevance more. Because we cannot help agreeing k living human beings. He was once blessed to see a bird above a chamber door. Bird or beast up the carved door above the carved bust. Its name is never more. But their raven is lonely in the calm breast, he did not speak. This is a word when the soul of his K is one word he outpours. Not far away then he said, not a pen then fluttered. Till I just over mumbled, other friends flew over which before. Tomorrow you will miss my hopes before flying. Then the bird said, never more. Trembling the silence the broken answer answered so well. Undoubtedly, he said, we also say the one stock and store it. He caught some unhappy masters, who had a relentless disaster. Then he followed the fast and fast track for a burst of bore. While the lurking hopes of K melancholy load burst. Never rolled. But Raven is still tempting all my imagination with the smiling. Straight I wheeled cushion seat before bird, and crash and door. Then when the velvet descendant, I betook myself to connect. Fancy the imagination, the thought that the ominous bird you're. We're in this nasty, 
stubborn, ghoulish, lean, and ugly beard. Reported as never more. This was a deliberate guessing, but not syllable expressionism. The winged man whose fiery eyes are basically in my burnt bosom. That's more than I've guessed, my head is easy to tilt. The pillow velvet lining K the lamplight gloated o'er. But to whom the velvet purple lining the lamplight to be worn o'er. Director pushing, ah, never again.